I like this music. Kind of this was my ringtone? Anyway. Whoa, hey, Ratona! Look! It's like super amazing! It. it certainly is. I'm awestruck. Ivel's Tavern. The huge wooden structure has an aroma of smoke and wood chips drifting through the air. It's just like one of those taverns you hear of in fairy tales. Wow, Ratona, Ratona, what is all this? Sophie squatted down and stared at what they spread out all across the floor. The floor was covered in some kind of sawdust or shells of some sort, leaving the original floor and completely concealed. It sure is a pretty interesting place, right? Have a look at that! Rune pointed towards the middle of the building. What? That's enormous! The interior of the structure extended all the way to three whole stories, resembling a calcium of sorts. A spiral staircase using a large tree as its motif extended all the way to the top floor. The stairs were used for delivering orders and such. Hmm? Is that a real tree? Now that I look at it again, the large tree's canopy reaches all the way to the top and acts as a ceiling for the uppermost floors. You wouldn't notice it until you get a closer look, but you can see the night sky through the gaps between the leaves and the tree. It is indeed! This entire place was constructed around this tree! That's amazing! Marvelous! Truly marvelous, isn't it, Ratona? But what are they going to do when it rains? Hmm? The interior was lined with casks and casks with casks and casks of alcohol. This seems to reach all the way to the third floor. Do the casks do the casks serve as some kind of divider? Truly befuddling architectural design. This place is one of Kenya's main attractions. The brewery at Ivo's is responsible for producing 60% of all liquor in Sector 3. Brewery, you say? Behind those casks is the brewery, separate from the tavern itself. Is that so? Suddenly. Hey everyone! Listen up! We hear a voice from above, resonating through the entire tavern. Silence. Shh. And then the entire place falls silent. As we look up, we see a man standing on the railing of the second floor, a gas of beer in hand. Today I finally got myself canned from work! Now I don't ever have to see that damn boss man ever again! Time for a celebratory drink! Are oh, you bastards in the tavern? Your next drink's on me, good old Hurts One! A flurry of chilling roars throughout. Hey, ain't that boss man yours, your old man? You're damn right he is, that stupid little coot! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I bet you're gonna be big back. Big to head back there tomorrow, or day after. Oh, baby! Like hell, I'm gonna do that! Keep it coming, Hurtson! Here's some more free booze! Say, sure, more free booze for you! Just give me a job first! Hey, if you got fired, just how the hell are you gonna pay for all the booze you're giving out? Well, of course, I sure so can't, you numbskull! Looks like I'm washing dishes for you for a month! Wow, Hurtson, you're such a generous gents! Oh, that's so, then why don't you marry me? Over my dead body! Everyone left up a storm. Alright, bottoms up everyone! Every single person in the tavern goes, woohoo! As they all share a hearty toast, the cheers roaring with an intensity that shook you to the core. This place shows something. Yes, it's something, that's a good description for it. <laughs> That's just how this place is, so I suppose for you two it might be a little... Well... I'm already used to it, so I don't mind, but Sophine might not yet be ready for a place like this. Sophine's eyes are literally stars right now. We ought to find a quieter place. I... Hmm? I love it! <laughs> what? Oh no. She's got that sparkle in her eyes. Ratona, let's eat here, okay? It looks so fun here. But, but some kind of trouble popped up. We... Wait here, I like ten for three, please! In an instant, Selfine vanishes from my sight. Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm a little busy here, so could you just seat yourself in the booth inside? Aye, aye, wee! Wait, Selfine! What? what? Really? Reading here? Even Rune is like, what the fuck's wrong with you guys? This was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> oh, good grief. A pension for merrymaking must run it in the Brugsenheit blood. Chris, what do you plan to do if something happens? I, I whispered to Selfine. Huh? We'll be fine. I mean, everyone's having so much fun! That doesn't make any sense. 
I, I really love places like these. It's so fun and warm and cozy. Ugh. King Valar also had this side to him. He didn't place any distance between himself and his people. The king was close to his citizens. On the surface, you think it was a wonderful, charming thing. However, things weren't actually that simple. Royalty must always stand atop others. Without a strong, charismatic presence, the citizenry will become uneasy. A king who's friendly with his citizen is nothing but the stuff of fantasy. From what I've heard, King Valar was quite troubled with this during his youth. There has to be an appropriate distance between a leader and his followers. Otherwise, that relationship will cease to be. Sooner or later, Safin has to come to that realization as well. Should I caution her? Take a quick glance at Selfine beside me. Um, nom, 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 nom. Selfine stuffed her mouth with walnuts, looking happy but also undignified. Don't be so happy over some walnuts! A hamster, a hamster is in our minds. Midst. A hamster is in our midst. A princess like her is enjoying something so pedestrian. Um, nom, nom, nom. Sophia had such a carefree smile on her face, more so than usual. <sighs> she sure is nuts for those. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, your face looks so funny. Rune laughs. Mmm, delish. And Sophie laughs along with her. Oh, you just tossed the shells on the floor. Oh, I see. So all this stuff on the floor is those shells. That's pretty cool, isn't it, Ratona? Magnificent. Oh well, never mind. She's having fun anyway. Really, though, it's been so long since I've come here. Did you come here regular? Regular? I can't pronounce regular. Did you come here on the regular before? Nope, just once a while back. Is that so? Well, I suppose that makes sense. These kinds of places don't suit your, you at all either, Roan. Eh? You think so? This isn't the kind of place a girl all by herself would go to. Well, I suppose that is true. Oh, right. How do we even order food? Ah, point taken. Mm, uh, you look at that menu and choose from there. Everything that's been served is right in here. Rune hands me a thick book that placed at the edge of the table. Whoa, it's so thick! What is this? These, these drawings are pretty impressive. The menu had numerous drawings of some of the dishes. It's not watercolor. It looks somewhat like graphite lead, but there's color? This is the outer pole, so they couldn't have used mana to make these either. Just what kind of drawing technique did they employ to come up with such realistic pictures? The level of detail present in these drawings is beyond what the human hand can achieve. Is it literally just a picture? Um, those aren't drawings, but what we call photographs. They're literally photos. Photographs? Yes. Actually, do you not have menus where you come from? How do you order things then? Huh? Well, we, uh... Normally, it was set up such that whenever you enter the establishment, a, a Comcraft line would be activated and a list of ingredients would flow into your conscience. Just by entering the shop, you would already know everything they serve. There'd be no point leaving these bundles of paper at every table. A menu, eh? Pretty inefficient way of doing things. But they have no choice, there's no mana. That is, er. Something similar to this. We have a lot of small establishments from where we are. There's usually a large display board hung just above the kitchen. Apparently that's how it was like before the advent of Comcraft. I've only ever seen mock-ups of it though. Huh. These cultural dishes sure are interesting, huh? Even something as simple as this. Hey, yeah, haha! <laughs> Our countries definitely are different from each other. Now what should we I can feel a strange aura coming from beside me. Hmm. What when the Sophine looks completely different. Her eyes are so ex ex fixed onto the menu, the expression more serious that I've ever seen. Could it be? I say those eyes are ones able to see things that no normal person could see. Stern, dignified, clear eyes, the, the eyes of royalty. Has she finally awakened? But why now? Why here? What's the matter, my lady? I fear her gaze pierced my very being. What's wrong, Selphine? Tona, Rune. Yes? I... I can't read this menu. <sighs> uh. 
Well, I suppose that much was obvious. <laughs> We'd relied on Rune the entire time, so I didn't realize until now, but we can't actually read the language. Eratum can only inter inter interpret words today, jeez. What is audible, not written. This selfie. <laughs> oh, Rune has so many tears in her eyes. If you just tell me then, I will gladly help you read, so please don't make such a scary face. Okay, thanks! Safine doesn't even notice. Rune's gone totally pale from seeing her expression. I'll take everything! No, you won't! Uh, everything looks everything looks delicious, so I can't decide. So how much do you plan to eat? You're going to get fat. Ugh, I'll be fine. I'm already this hungry. That's no excuse. Maradona, look! Everything just looks so tasty. That doesn't mean we can just order every single thing. Oh, then how? Oh, then how about ordering the sampler and then it has as many of the items as menu, but in bite-sized portions. I'll take that then. I like. Something easy on the stomach. So anything like that. This is easy to digest. Mm, well, there's really just soup, I suppose. Then I'll go with that. That's a lot of food. And what restaurant serves ice cream immediately? Alliance servers brought each and every single dish on the menu to our table. Wow, this looks amazing! Sophie's order of samplers completely covered the entire table. Th this is quite a lot of food. Can she even finish all this? It looks delicious! Mind your manas. Seriously. Ah, oh, come on, light on Pertona, it's time to get some grub! Safina's getting so excited that her persona is already giving way. Haha, <laughs> you two are just too funny. Don't tell me you're actually traveling entertainers. For well, funny? Absolutely not. Oh, Pertona, are you alright with just soup? Is that going to be enough for you? Uh, yes, I'd like something light for tonight. It might be because the flow of mana here is weak, but I have no appetite. Tona, if you don't eat anything... Tona, if you don't eat anything, you won't get any energy. I realized that, lady. Honestly, I just can't get rid of this feeling of languidness. I don't particularly feel bad, but it's like the chill you feel right before a strong fever sets in. The feeling of your very bones weakening. Oh, right, they said that discounts were celebrated in New Ale, right? How about, we, how about we try some of that? What? Pertona, are you all right with ale? Hey, that's a my fine question there, Rune. No need to hide anything now. Pertona can match her drink with any man, even one bigger than I panic and cover Sophie's mouth. I'd rather she not say too much. Pertona, hmm? are you a heavy drinker? No, 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 not not the slightest. Indeed she is! Pertona's a real aficionado of alcohol! Sophie escapes from grasp and proclaims in a loud voice. That does no need to shout. Haha, oh, well then, we should order some! Here they say the alcohol is the best medicine, I'm sure it'll help you feel better. And I will say an ale is really famous! I've always wanted to try it myself, too. Oh, it's alright for me to do something so imprudent. Excuse me, waiter, we'll take two steins of your new ale! Wait, since when were you in charge of ordering? And I have a glass of pomegranate juice! You got it, just a moment. And suddenly it's there. In less than 10 seconds, he casually pours beer in a couple of steins. Starting out with some mayo, ladies. You all look pretty young, too. We heard that the new brews always sell quickly, so we figured we all have a head start. You sure did. And they're nice and cold thanks to our new aqua box. Enjoy! Okay, let's toast to our new friendships! I drink to that! Three of us clink our drinks together. Oh, this is good. Really good. There are very few places where you can get brewed this good in Rugenside. Ah, wonderful. It's the first time all day I've seen you relax like this. It is. Have I been on edge all day? You're so totally serious the whole day. Is that so? I must have been more tired than I realized. Phew, that was delicious! Sure it was! Perhaps because of the ale, I was able to eat much more than I thought I could. Well then, let's sell the bill and head back to the- What the? That sounded like a lot of glassware shattering nearby. Eek! 
What's what's bleh. what's going on? Please wait here, you two. I leap out of my seat, heading towards the sound. You better keep your word. That's what a real man does, right? Right? <laughs> Don't get in that pool, my pain man. Will you can't even pay for your old damn drink, Mooch? That that herdsman fellow familiar was quarreling with a man much larger than him. Is that you saying to me? You have you seen me, you little smash! The man smashed the wood table twice as thick as his arm, and two like it was nothing. What was with that man? A subject! Both of you, please stand back. Perfect. Perfect timing. I've always wanted to see how this bio mind's going to work on a living, breathing person. <coughs> I am not you getting that voice anymore. Wow, that was bad. Where? Ah. Uh. What the heck? The man pulls out a cask from the packed wall, just using one hand without even breaking sweat, and then... Hey, hey, what are you going? What are you up to? Hey! He lifts up to the cask overhead, head, it's sizing larger than his entire body. Is that... Is that, cask full of, is that cask full of alcohol? It was a surreal scene. So surreal that the jeering bystanders were all silenced. Don't tell me you're going to hurl the thing, me. Are you going to kill men or some lousy tab? Hey, I will. They'll teach y'all just run moths off. Hey, hey, you, what are you doing? Shut up! He flung an empty stool in the air as he was shouting in response. The heavy bar stool zoomed through the air in a straight line. <gasps> the waiter just barely managed to dodge the stool, which quickly smashed in the wall behind him, breaking apart into pieces. If you all don't want to die, then back the hell off! Petonia! I'm working on it. Damn, the mana on the air is too thin, I can't get the synergy right. I'll just have to do this with my own mana. Please, make it in time. I begin to refine my internal purified mana into Terra and Pyro. The right ratio, the right timing, the right synergy, Terra, Pyro, materialization, polishing, cooling. So stop squinting around, you can still stop this, calm her down! Finished. I leapt off the ground. Please, let me get there in time. Then suddenly, Bro, your mouth got you into this messy little piece of. The shell flies through the corner of my eye. Roar! Crash! For a moment, I couldn't tell exactly what happened. Hurts one of the fans from in front of me. Root. And this place was. Rune! Rune's body flying from the impact of being struck by the cask. Huh? What the heck just. Y you bastard! I use the nearby table as a launching pad and jump, using all my strength I swing sword, sword downwards. The sword met with no resistance. It was a clean slice. The cask was cleaved in two, spilling ale all over the tavern. What? The man loses his balance and falls flat on his rear. What the hell, you beater? Panty shots. What? His eyes are fixated on strange objects pointing at his throat. A transparent sword? This glass sword can cut through even metal. Your neck is nothing in comparison. I'll easily, I'll cu they'll cut easily through it like a hot knife through butter. Listen, I'm only going to say this once. Don't move. Why, you little... He screams at me with mate hate, but our match is already over. As I've got his neck pinned to the ground, the clattering of his boots against the floor tells me all I need to know. Rune! Lady, how's Rune? Huh? Oh! Uh, reaction, reaction, uh, uh, owie? Oh, she doesn't feel pain, does she? Rune, are you okay? I'll patch you up in a sec, okay? Uh, wait, what? Oh, sorry, I must have tripped. Ah! You tripped. What's wrong? There, there isn't a single scratch on her. What? Uh, are, are you sure you're fine? Rune just rose to her feet without a single marker bruise. I'm fine, really, you just tripped a little. No, no you didn't. I'm 100% a-okay, just look at me, perfectly healthy. Hey, hey, you three, wait a minute. Oh, dang, really, thanks for the help back there. If you girls weren't around, I'd be pushing up daisies right now. No, I didn't do a thing. Save your gratitude for the skull. Eh, oh no, I didn't do anything either. I just happened to be around and I accidentally tripped. This girl, she is still terrible at lying. Wait, aren't you? He 
takes a close look at Rune. Nah, that can't be. It's nothing. Never mind. Well, anyway, seriously, thanks. Please, could you let me do something to return the favor? Oh my, I don't need to really... Wait, huh? Asher, does that read... Grokwile's Apparel? Heck yeah, it does! Name's Hertzman Grokwile, second generation owner of Grokwile Apparel. So you are! And that's perfect timing! Huh? What do you mean? Oh, actually... Rune explained our predicament to Hertzman. So as you can see, these two girls really stand out, so we've been looking for a new set of clothes. Oh, is that it? Now leave it to me, I'll stitch you up some clothes that are nice and my old man can never put out! Come with me! Wait, wait, we're going right there right this moment. It's fine, right? Not still love, don't even do this much, okay? Besides, you better have this done as soon as you can, right? Well, that is true. Just how's it going to tell her while drunk? Gotta strike with the iron's hot out, I'm in the mood, you let me do this tonight, now I'm not even going to ask you what these are for. Once tomorrow hits, then I'll be all so rubber and my caress is going to get better me, you know? That's just ridiculous. Wow, you'll make clothes for us? I sure as hell am, you are my saviors. These outfits are going to be the best I make yet. Wow, I feel like I'm popping a vein doing this voice. Ugh. <laughs> wow, Ratona, look! This fabric feels really good! Oh, this is quite... Wow, you two look fantastic! Yeah. Of course I do. Who do you think I am? I was totally taken on a Wes. Husband's telling was second to none. Anyways, I made a nice simple like yes, me to bar. The mouse using the clothes are just too beautiful that they stand out anyway. <laughs> Husband keeps looking back at Selfina as he tilts his head. Yay, he said I'm a great model. Of course. She was born to be a king, and to be the most handsome of the land, and a queen blessed with both looks and intelligence. If she weren't beautiful, I'd be throwing a complaint to Mother Nature herself. Still though, miss. Hmm? Do you mean me? How do you like your outfit? I can't say it's the most original color palette I've ever tell about a black on black with shade of grey. Hmm. You're quite lucky yourself, don't you want to put on a little more color? I think you look great on you. No, I'm fine with this. The color black has a tendency to absorb mana, as mana absorbed in your clothing becomes easier to feel the levels of mana around you. For battlecrafters who use craft in the moments of split second, it isn't rare that battle's outcome can be swayed just by whether one wears black or not. Battlecrafters always have to keep that function in mind for their clothing. Put on clocks for that style 30 years old, you two. You think so? I think they look really cute. Oh, I see. Thanks for letting me know then. Well, pretty young ladies who themselves are really the best for modeling this stuff. Eh, modeling for what? Trends, fashion, it's always a changing. In fact, you girls like this kind of look as proof that it'll be the in thing again soon. Ah, you got a point there. Boy, oh boy, it's been long since I've done opposite this pretty. It feels great. Thank you so much, Mr. Hertzman. Anytime. Wait, why don't you fire? Can, can you just waltz in here and do all this? Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. The old cool just says whatever he wants to. You, you just gotta learn to let it go. Otherwise, it ain't gonna last. <coughs> what happened between you two? You said something real crazy to me. It's saying absurd. Totally not something you'd ever say to your own flesh and blood son. Following business, eh? It's not something that will always go smoothly. What did he say to you? He told me not to drink while I'm on the job. No comment. You're clearly in the wrong there. I was telling him some suits for a bro's wedding. It's like a rule that you drink to celebrate good times. There is no such rule. Yo, that's why you okay from earlier? Mm, yeah. Sorry, ladies. Just give me a moment, heat. First one steps aside begins to converse with a couple who pass by. The fabric here makes it so easy to move. Indeed. You two look really great in those outfits. Harry wasn't joking. The materials you use are fantastic. The quality of the clothes is just as good. Even better than my formal wear outfit. But how much this will cost us if we were gonna pay? Ah! What's with that dry laugh? I took a look at the store's price list earlier. How much would this have been? Uh, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss! <laughs> Was it that expensive? Just who is this guy? 
Sorry about that, ladies. Was that your friend? Yeah! Well, actually, he's a guy I'm into sometimes in Ivos. Hey, first one! Heard you picked the fight in the tavern, is that true? Huh? What's that big deal? Don't put too much worry on my friend's little heart now, okay? Where are you? Me? Again, Hertzman's heads over to converse with lady who passed us by. Oh, if you say so then. Come on, no need about like that. Let's head over there sometime for dinner next time. Just two of us, what do you say? Not a chance. Not even a chance? Well, if you insist. Heck yeah, I do. I'm up for it any time. If they finish talking, the lady leaves. Ha <laughs> sorry for meddling, again. You sure know a lot of people. We're the only place here that tailors up for my outfits. We've been doing this for so long, you and your customers are practically best booties. Horseman takes out a flask of alcohol, swirls it around, inhaling vapors. Don't you think you've been drinking too much? You should slow your pace a little. That's fine, I gotta do this. It's part of my job, too. Drinking is part of your job. Yeah, it sure is. The city needs a little jitty, a class accent, bring on the laughter. Huh? What do you mean by that? Everyone in this city is tired. Exhausted. These here parts every day there's news about how manner related sicknesses are spreading, while the outpost borders are shrinking. It just gets to you. Everyone's on edge. The borders on the outer pole are shrinking. Never heard that phenomenon before. Actually, now that you mention it, we haven't heard any good information about that in a while. Ladies, you know, it's time like these tough times that people have to laugh, to smile. We gotta enjoy every single day we're on this planet. Um, Mr. Hertzwin? Mm, what? I think that you're, you're a fantastic person. Yeah, ha, ha, this ain't nothing. I just love my booze. Hertzwin laughed up a storm. Anyways. Thanks. <laughs>